Good morning. Hello. They love being out here getting warm in the sun in the mornings. You guys are so cute. Look how cute they are. Cutest little dolings. So I think Hazel is just at the beginning stage of labor. We have a lot of work to do because we've got to clean up, get the second stall ready, scoop babies over, take care of little Newt inside. It's a big day. But I think my, my prediction is Hazel will deliver tonight, late tonight, or in, in the middle of the night. Well, this is the tricky part. Tilly does not have any milk. <laughs> yeah. It just hasn't quite come in yet, has it, girl? Those dolings are drinking everything we got. It normally takes a few days for their milk to come in. In the beginning, they just have a lot of colostrum, and those dolings are eating it up. So it has been a little bit difficult. We have some colostrum saved from previous years. So we've been feeding that to little Newt while we're waiting here for her milk to come in. But oof, we don't have any other doze in milk. So I may need to contact one of my goat friends and get a little bit of colostrum for little Newt in the meantime, because Tilly Billy here is giving it all to those strong dolings. Look, this is all we've got from Tilly this morning, but we just might get lucky because if Hazel delivers, this might tide us over just until she has her kids and then I can extract some colostrum from her. Yeah, see, are you in labor because you're being loud? I think you might be. She's never loud. I always keep really meticulous notes and that's the one thing about Hazel. The last kidding, she was so loud. She's normally a really quiet goat and that's how I knew she was in labor. So looks like we got to put her in the stall. Oh, is it nap time? Hmm? All right guys, here we go. Hazel's in labor and it's working out perfectly. It's like three o'clock right now. We're not gonna go into the night. She's getting closer and closer. Her eyes are dilated and she's getting more and more agitated. So it all works out. We should have babies right before dinner and then we'll be done and everything will be perfect. She's so funny. When she is in labor, she's super loud, wants somebody with her the whole time. But Hazel, we really want to, okay? None of this singleton business. All right, on Hazel's ultrasound, we definitely saw two, we saw two. So we're hoping that there's two in there. And just for a recap, those of you that are interested in the color genetics, here's what we predicted. So again, we could have a broken buckskin or a chamaze combo, which I think would look a little bit lighter, similar to hazel. This would be such a cute coloring <laughs> to have. I really love this little coloring. There could also be a broken buckskin that looks similar to hazel, but doesn't have the chamaze qualities. So not the four black, boots on their legs. If Finnick gave up the chamaze gene and Hazel gave up that black gene, we would still end up with a chamaze because again, you need two copies of the black gene in order to produce a black goat. But we still have that, we still have that possibility. So it could be that we get a little black doe or buck out of them as well. We have zero chance of blue eyes with this pairing though, zero chance of polled and zero chance of moon spots. So Hazel's an interesting one. I love a lot of things about her, mostly her front end assembly, but she needs some serious help in the udder department. So Fiddick definitely has those udder genetics. It's kind of what we're looking for. Although you never know what you're gonna get and you can't really just put a goat with, a, with good udder genetics with another goat and expect it to work out perfectly. One thing that's interesting about genetics with goats that we never seem to think about is we always assume if we breed this parent with this parent, we're gonna get all equally, I guess, genetics kids. But just look at you and your siblings and how different you guys are in body type and hair color and personality. So you have to realize that there is a lot of variability in what you can get even in just one single kidding or one single pairing. So with this pairing here, I've got to see a wide rump because if I see a wide rump, then I know there's going to be some better udder genetics brewing, hopefully. So we won't worry about that just yet. It takes a few weeks for us to really evaluate the babies, but uh, let's focus on her and labor and getting started. And I'm excited to see more babies. Next contraction, I bet it's going to be out. Yeah. There we go. 
Good job. Yeah! Oh, is that a big one? You can do it. Yeah! Some goats are di different. Yeah! You just got a hoof. So I'm gonna yeah! just want to make sure we have a nose. Yeah! yeah, we got a nose. We're okay. Okay, you got this. Just take your time. You're good. It's really light color. It's like a light yeah. color. Just wait. You've got it. Good job. And she's not going to get up. She'll do it. It's right there. there girl you got it not yet though don't get up that's not a good decision don't get up just make sure she doesn't look at her anything nothing yet girl she like looks she's like sniffing she's like, over there it's no. not there sorry Almost. See a hook? Yep. Oh, girl. She wants to have it right there. Oh. Oh. Must be a big one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think it's pretty big. That's gotta be a boy. Oh, there is no oh, so huge. Look at that. Good job. That was so hard. I can't see. It looks like it's a little girl. It's a dolly, Lydia. That's a little, little girl. It's huge. <laughs> You already gonna push the next one out? <laughs> oh yeah, it's coming. Give me another towel. Oh my gosh. It was just that first Grab one. Me. So big. <laughs> you bring me if you bring me that garbage bag. Oh. Let's go again. No way that's a girl. Good lord. It's just like you. It is a doling. Wow. <laughs> So what were the percent percentages with her? I don't know. Yeah, I have a phone. You can look at it when they're So is this one a chamise, you think, because we've got, we have four dark, we don't have an, a dark underbelly, so she's just going to be probably a buckskin. Is her face buckskin, Lydia? No. Or actually, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. It's like hazel where it's like a mix. Here we go. It's wow. coming. Good job. Your first girl. Can you pull up that sleeve? My sleeve. Pull it up? Yep. Your first girl. Yeah! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Yeah! Goodness. Okay. <laughs> you good? <laughs> what is it? What is it? It's another dolly. Really? Yes. Oh my goodness. This one was is way smaller. No wonder she was having so much trouble. Yes, like half the size. Yeah. Half the size of that one. Oh, thanks. Look, let's, let's 
Let's take care of this one too. You've got two. <laughs> That's a pretty color. Yeah. This one I almost think looks like a This one is a chamoisie because it has a black belly oh and it has all gosh. four black. Oh my gosh. Well, my doling plan is working. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> my method is working. Wow. That first one is huge. No wonder she had so much trouble. It's funny how Tilly's first one was just a little, was just a little one. I mean, she's so big. It's. I feel like she could have another one in there, but but we only saw two. Did we only one. see two? Not even a maybe three? No, because I did. I'll have to look on my phone. But the follow-up ultrasound really just showed two clear ones there. So unless she surprises us here, always like that. The biggest one is always first. Well, yesterday. Uh, I guess, but Not a yesterday. lot of times it is though. Yeah, it's like. It's like gravity brings the big one down uh -huh. or something. Wow, those are really fun colors. Yeah. People are gonna love that. Oh man. Two dolings. So far wow. we are, my plan is working. <laughs> and people said it wouldn't work. Thanks for being so dumb. And Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for being so, so dumb. dumb. <laughs> oh. Well, I know it's not really a tried and true method, but so far we're doing yeah. pretty good. And the only boy is really cute and small. Yeah. Yeah, we like He's new. barely even a boy. <laughs> He's not even a boy. He's not even He's a boy. Like... He's half of a boy. It doesn't even count. <laughs> we're not going to count Newt. Newt's just like. Do you have a surprise third one, Hazel? That would be great. That would be nuts. Well, she had those two within those ten were, minutes, one right after the other. Oh my gosh! Okay, that was pretty good. We were a good team. Dad was handing the chucks pads. That was a good team. Okay, guys, we have two dolings. Can you believe it? I'm I'm in shock. Actually, we were just talking while she was pushing. We were like, you know, she just seems like one to have a couple more bucklings, but. We're doing pretty good, two dollings. So they're starting to dry off here. And yeah, look, this little one is definitely a chamoise. And this big, huge doling back there, she is an identical to Hazel, so she's likely gonna be called a broken buckskin. But yeah, isn't that so funny? Two dollings. I can't believe that. Oh my goodness. I just can't believe this. You're so cute. Now this one right here, this little chamoise, she's definitely not as little as Newt is. She's she's definitely normal size. This broken buckskin though is huge. She's just I would I would guess that she's like five or six pounds. Let's see how big you are. Yeah, she's a she's a five pounder. Oh, oh my gosh! Huge. Look at your babies. They're so cute. That Shamaze one's so cute. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's gonna take a little <laughs> bit of milk, a little bit of colostrum. It's just a baby. It's not a hand. Here's some of that. You go. There you go. They always love that molasses water. Mm -hmm. Isn't that yummy? You've got Hazel's two dolings over here, and Tilly's two dolings right here. They're so cute. That one's so big. Almost the same size as these ones, born just a couple days ago. We thought these dolings were big. I know. I mean, she is like big. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. 
It's not about personality okay? and souls and charts. It's weird. all about the bumps in your okay. head. Good job. Okay. Go. Good job. Newt, do you want some food? Do you want a bottle? Okay. Getting better at finding it. Mmm. Hazel colostrum. Mm. <laughs> oh, is that good? He's like, wait. Wait a second. It kind of takes little breaks. Got to be patient. Good job. Oh, yeah, take a break. You're doing good. Keep going. Guys, I just have to show you, he has like, tip your head down, he has like three white hairs <laughs> on the top. Isn't that adorable? That's adorable. Want some more? I'm gonna try again. Oh, that was a big meal.